Hi, I'm Jefferson. I work for the Aldo Leopold Nature Center, and one of my favorite things to do during the summer is read stories to children during lunch break. I wasn't able to do that this year, but since we're not really doing Fall Fest either, I decided it'd be a great time to read one of my favorite books, The Book That Eats People. Ooh, but I need my PPE. Hold on. Let's see, we've got some gloves, mallets, these. There, now I'm ready. This is Jefferson Hoffman reading The Book That Eats People by John Perry with illustrations by Mark Fearing. Caution, this is a book that eats people. If you hear growling while you're trying to read it, stop reading, close the cover, and put something heavy on top of it. Do not let your little brother or sister read this book, especially when it's hungry. You should always assume this book is hungry. Remember, this is not a storybook. It is not a book of rhymes. It isn't a how-to book or a dictionary. It's a book that eats people. One day in Little Rock, Arkansas, Sammy Ruskin forgot to wash his hands after lunch and the book tasted peanut butter on his fingers. So the book, this book, went snap and took a bite and then another and another. Sammy squirmed and wriggled Sammy squealed and yelled. Sammy pulled as hard as he could, but the book ate him. Then it coughed up his bones and they clattered across the floor like wooden blocks. That was the first book person this book ate. If you hear pages rustling, it's probably because the book smelled something yummy. But if you hear a sound like an octopus in a tub of yogurt, that is the book's empty stomach and the book is ravenous. If you hear that, find someone nearby, fast might taste delicious to a book. After this book ate Sammy Ruskin, his parents gave it to a library where it sat trapped and mad, tightly shelled between the complete guides to the saints and sandwiches through the ages. Its stomach growled and growled for weeks until late one evening, someone left the, the guide to the saints on a table in the reference section. That night, while the moon shone, the book devoured famous Americans Who's Who in American Business, and Mr. Singh, security guard, who yelled like crazy. When the librarians came in, it was swallowing the last pages of How Things Work. Titles like What Happened to Sam Ruskin keep some library books shelved forever. So while the librarians wept, this book traded covers with All About Dolphins. And that very same day, right about the cut time when everybody likes a chocolate chip cookie, Victoria Glassford checked out. Oh, stop! Stop! She put the book on her nightstand, but before she could finish brushing her teeth, it jumped up, thumped her on the head, and gobbled her down, beginning with her polished pink toenails. Have you ever heard a book burp? This is a bad book. A book with teeth and claws. It's a monster that eats people. You should throw it in the fireplace on the coldest February day. You should grind it page by page in your daddy's coffee grinder. Experts say that when a book eats someone, it's either self-defense or a mistake, and the book never eats anyone again. But this book ate Sammy, Victoria, and Mr. Singh, and then it ate Joey, Juan, and Isabel when they found it in a heap of boxes on a street in Philadelphia. Of course, someone from the neighborhood watch saw the book and eat those three kids and called the police. They took it and locked it in a jail cell where it ate Chuck Anderson, who deserved it, some people think it's cruel to chain a book, 
but the guards did anyway. Judge Cox, who loved all books, sent it to the zoo, where zookeepers tried to reform it. They fed it fried chicken, pickles, hot dogs, ice cream, noodles, and toast. But nothing worked because this book craves people. When it chewed through a zookeeper's shoe, they finally gave up and put a label on it that says, The Book That Eats People, in big, bold letters. So now everyone knows what kind of book this is. Who knows where you found it, but be careful. Never read this book with syrupy fingers. Never read it with cookies in your pocket. Never turn your back on it. Never, never, ever read this book alone because this book is always hungry. And it eats people. All right, I hope you enjoyed that book. Now comes the hard part, getting back in the chain.